What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video and in this one we have the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. I'm excited to know exactly how they changed the world. But before we find out, if you guys happen to enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive right in. Modern life wouldn't be the same without these brilliant minds. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've looked at scientists born in Britain whose work has changed human life forever. Dang. Number 10, Peter Higgs. You've probably heard of the Higgs boson particle and the Large Hadron Collider that was built to observe it. What you might not know is that the man that the actual particle was named after is actually British. Originally from Newcastle, he is one of the six physicists that were responsible for suggesting the particle might exist and kick-starting the entire process to prove their theory. In 2012, they finally announced that they had discovered the particle and the following year, Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Dang. Number 9, Alexander- That's truly special, bro. Get the freaking Nobel Grand Prize and to find this, or to, 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 to hint at the idea of this particle, to know this particle exists before anyone else. When they finally find it, it's like you're validated because you, you knew. That's so dope. Dr. Graham Bell. Born in Edinburgh, Bell is not only the founder of American company AT&T, but also the inventor of the telephone. So you can yeah. thank this man for your smartphone, even if he might not recognize it as the descendant <laughs> of his device. Hired by Gardner Hubbard to experiment with ways to send multiple telegraphs along the same line, Bell was also given funding to explore his true passion, the transmission of the human voice. In 1876, from the comfort of his packed office, he demonstrated his invention by making the first phone call. Number eight. Oh, well, you got me. We all know Alexander Graham Bell. You have to appreciate Alexander Graham Bell because everybody, and I mean everybody, has a phone nowadays. And the ability for him to give us, for him to give us the ability to be able to communicate from two different, from not two different places, but from different places, is absolutely incredible when you think of just how revolutionary that invention was. It's insane, man. All right, what we got, Dorothy? Dorothy Hodgkin. Known for her work with X-ray crystallography, which is the technique used to determine the structure of crystals, Dorothy Hodgkin worked primarily with biological molecules. She was a pioneering scientist in the field of structural biology, and throughout her life she deciphered the structures of penicillin, vitamin B12, cholesterol, and after 35 years of work, insulin. She was the third oh. woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and to this day is the only British woman to receive the award for one of the sciences. Number seven, Alexander. Shout out Dorothy, that, that's incredible. I don't know too much about her invention. I can't talk about, like I can, I can easily talk about a telephone, uh, how re revolutionary it is. I guess I can't talk about Dorothy much because my limited knowledge doesn't expand that far. Only British woman to receive the award for one of the sciences. That's amazing. Number seven, Alexander Fleming. We're incredibly lucky that so many scientists have done the work to find cures and ways to keep us healthy. For example, for sure. Edward Jenner, who invented the first vaccine. But the one that made our list is Alexander Fleming, who discovered mm. penicillin and paved the way for modern antibiotics. Although he technically discovered it accidentally by having a messy <laughs> office and leaving out cultures of staphylococci, there's no arguing with the results. In 1945, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, which he shared with two others. Number six. You can't put a price on the amount of lives that his invention has saved, even if it was accidental. What do they say? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Uh, you can't put a price tag on the amount of lives that were saved because of penicillin and other medicines like truly truly uh deserving and worthy and you just got to thank him you got to show him all the freaking gratitude in the world for what he did francis crick james watson and rosalind franklin london-born rosalind franklin used x-ray crystallography to better understand the molecular structure of dna her pioneering work was then the basis for the work of watson and crick francis crick hmm. is the british half of this duo and together with his american partner they discovered the helical structure of dna they were jointly awarded a Nobel Prize for their discovery, which also explained how information is transferred inside your DNA. Sadly, oh. since Rosalind Franklin had died in 1958, she could not share the honor. Dang. Nonetheless, their discovery added significantly to our understanding of how living things work. Number five, 
I mean, Alex- I guess I could say the same thing about every single invention that's going to be in these top 10, of course, uh, because, I mean, the title literally says top 10 British scientists who changed the world and all 10 of these guys. And I say inventions, but I guess some of these aren't inventions. They are discovering things um, which are truly, truly necessary uh, for, for humanity. And they deserve these Nobel Peace Prizes. They deserve so much more. Uh, it's sad to know that she wasn't around when they were able to get that prize and be able to share. But uh, the hard work in helping discover DNA has uh, truly done so much. And I know scientists that came after them were, with that uh, research that they've done, they were able to do so much more. And just, it, it's incredible. It's true. Born in London, Turing's work spread across several areas of study, but he is most famous for his work with computer science. He was hugely influential in the development of the study, so much so that he's today remembered as its father. If you don't know him from his groundbreaking work in computers, you might know him for his contribution to the British effort in the Second World War. He worked at the centre of Britain's code-breaking team and was responsible for helping to break the German ciphers, allowing Allies to ultimately defeat the Nazis. Number 4, Tim Shout out my boy Alan Kieran because I mean the world needed them defeated. Think of the world we would live in now if, if they had won. So, uh, I mean, you literally took part in saving the world. Like, that's crazy to think about. You literally had a great part in saving all of us, dog. Tim Berners-Lee. This is the scientist that you're probably going to want to thank the most because without him, we wouldn't be bringing you this video. Berners-Lee oh, yeah, is the that. inventor of the World Wide Web. It all started with him wanting to find a way to share information between researchers. He built the software to facilitate this, and years later, spotting an opportunity to pair his creation with the internet, the pretty, mind-blowing online system that we all know and love today was born. Few technological developments have had such a clear impact on the modern world. Yeah. Number three, Stephen- Yeah, I mean, it's the World Wide Web. Uh, Well, does any more need to be said about- the, the revolutionary invention that is the World Wide Web. It's the reason I get to react to this freaking video in the first place. Like, nothing else needs to be said. And Hawking. With a long list of books to his name, including children's books, and a film made about his life, Hawking has had such an influence on mankind in modern scientific thinking that he has become a household name around the world. His yeah. most notable works are his study of black holes and his work in cosmology, which is concerned with the origins of the universe. All of his amazing essays, ideas and theories were made in spite of his motor neuron disease, which he overcame for decades, completely defying expectations. Hawking will go down in history as one of the greats, or rather, he already has. Yeah. Number two. He definitely already has gone down as one of the greats. Like she said, Stephen Hawking is a household name. That man, uh... Truly, truly. Isaac Newton. Oh, yeah. When you think of Newton, you probably think of the famous Apple story. Although it's not strictly true, the apple didn't actually hit him on the head. He did claim it inspired his theory of gravitation. Like many on today's list, Newton also worked across several different fields of science, but he was most famous for his theory of gravity and the laws of motion. He's often considered to be the most influential scientist of all time, and wouldn't you know it, he just so happens to have been born in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. Number 1. Charles Darwin Our number one spot is reserved for this incredible scientist because not only was his work hugely influential, but he also changed the way we viewed life itself. Mm. His theory of evolution completely rewrote history and demonstrated that all life evolves from common ancestors. Previous theories had tried to explain similar concepts, but Darwin's came with such convincing evidence that it was hard to argue against it. Scientists have gone on to gather even more evidence since then, and the fundamental concepts continue to hold up. Darwin's work ultimately changed the face of biology and our very understanding of nature. Do you agree with our picks? I feel like the the picks are great. Isaac Newton is definitely one of the most incredible scientists the world has ever known and will ever know. Uh, His theories and the laws of gravity and the the theory, laws of motion, like that's taught, I mean, worldwide, I assume. That's taught in every science classroom, 100%. Um, Charles Darwin, I haven't looked too much in evolution. I haven't really researched it or done anything, so uh, I can't really say that I disagree with it because I don't know about, like, I don't know enough about it. Uh, But Charles Darwin did uh, an incredible job as a scientist, and I'm sure all the research he done, uh, he provides valuable evidence. I'm sure that, that 
his theory is correct. Uh, it's it, that one's hard for me because I do, as a Christian, like I do believe uh, in God. I believe in Jesus, and I believe uh, we were created by Him. So it's, it's very hard for me to see like evolution, but. I haven't looked into evolution. I've looked into the Bible. I've looked into Christianity. Uh, never looked into evolution. So, I guess when when making an argument, you got to look at both sides of it. That's all we have. If you guys enjoyed that, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. And check out the next one. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.